we want to solve the following equations. And to solve a linear equation like this, our goal is to isolate the variable on one side of the equal sign. And the concept of isolating the variable is often what tells us what steps to take in order to solve the equation. So here we have x plus 9 equals 24. We're trying to find the value of x that satisfies this equation or makes this equation true. And if we want to isolate the variable, that means we want this in the form of x equals some number. So looking at the equation, we have x plus 9 equals 24. So we don't want this plus 9 here, or we want to undo plus 9. And we can do this by performing the opposite operation to both sides of the equation. Well, the opposite of adding 9 would be subtracting 9. So we can subtract 9 on the left side of the equation as long as we subtract 9 on the right side of the equation. And now notice on the left side, plus 9 minus 9, that would be 0. So now we are left with x. We bring down the equal sign. And on the right side, we have 24 minus 9, which is equal to 15. So x equals 15 is the solution to our equation, which means if we replace x with 15, it should satisfy the equation. Let's go ahead and check this. We're going to substitute 15 for x, so we'll have 15 plus 9 equals 24. And 15 plus 9 does equal 24. Therefore, our solution is correct. Now looking at our second example, our goal is the same. We want to isolate the variable on one side of the equal sign. So we want to manipulate this equation so it's in the form of x equals some number. But notice in its current form, we have x minus 7 equals 32. We don't want this minus 7 here, or we want to undo minus 7. So we'll perform the opposite operation on both sides of the equation. Well, the opposite of minus 7 will be plus 7. So we can add 7 to the left side of the equation as long as we do the same to the right side. Well, minus 7 plus 7 would be 0. So now we're left with x on the left side, which is good news. And the right side is now 32 plus 7, which would be 39. So x equals 39 is the solution to the equation. And again, let's go ahead and check this, which means if we substitute 39 for x in the original equation, it should satisfy the equation. So we'd have 39 minus 7 equals 32. And 39 minus 7 is 32. Therefore, our solution is correct.